because we're talking about some serious heat that is headed this way. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people have to deal with this. Mm -hmm. You know what else that he does? It makes people angry. People, well, yeah. you, you guys have seen what's been going on the last week in Atlanta. Yes. It's been crazy. It can trigger things. You, you just sure. not, you're going to want to take breaks outside, okay, this weekend, guys. It's not dangerous heat, but it's certainly the hottest days of the year so far. Right now, 77. It's four degrees warmer than yesterday. We're under partly sunny skies. Those clouds will clear out. I'm only giving outdoor dining for lunch and dinner three stars today because it's just going to be hot, okay? Unless you're sitting under the shade, you're just not going to want to be in the direct sunlight. At lunch today, it's already 85 degrees, and if you're eating dinner at 7 p.m., it's still 89 degrees. So we're topping out above 90 in many areas. Yesterday, we hit 89, so slightly warmer than yesterday. 91 is the high here in Atlanta. Most of North Georgia will be right around that 90 degree mark. You can see perhaps a stray shower across West Georgia this afternoon may squeeze out a stray shower in the mountains, but the vast majority of us will stay dry once again today. Big Bermuda high settling in guys. This is a very typical pattern we get into in the summer months. This high extends through the entire atmosphere. It completely shuts off all rain and it makes it really hot. You can see it is located pretty much directly over us tomorrow. Tomorrow is the first first alert weather day for the heat. But we need to talk about Saturday, okay? Saturday is when we max out. Saturday's uh, record high, 99 degrees. We're going to be right there. 98 in Atlanta, 98 in Rome, 96 in Athens. I'm not ruling out triple digits down towards central Georgia. Even the mountains reach the low 90s, so it is going to be very hot on Saturday. And it looks like we're going to start that warm streak tomorrow. We're talking mid to upper 90s. So near record heat, both Friday, Saturday, and also Father's Day Sunday, okay? We're talking near 100 degrees on Saturday. The heat indices both days, so the feels like temperatures are going to be above 100. And not only that, your morning lows will be in the upper 70s, and that's around 6.30 in the morning. So by the time most of you get out the door this weekend, we're talking temperatures already in the 80s. Your air conditioning is essentially going to be blowing nonstop from tomorrow morning all the way through Tuesday morning. So check your air filters. You do not want your air conditioning to break this weekend. Here are your feels like temperatures 97 tomorrow, 102 on Saturday, 101 on Father's Day, Sunday. I know a lot of dads like to play golf. Whoo! Make sure they're drinking lots of Gatorade. We don't want to be drinking a lot of beer, okay? Hydrated on Sunday. We will see that heat start to break down next week, but it's still going to stay hot. Every day over the next seven days, we're looking at 90 or above. Last stretch we had with the 90 degree temperatures was last August. We saw 16 days above 90. We could be headed that direction. I'm thinking we'll see 90 pretty much every day next week. Only chance of rain will come on Sunday and Monday. Can't rule out a few stray showers on Father's Day Sunday, but generally we're looking at really low rain chances over the next seven days. Elena News First Meteorologist Rodney Harris is here now. Rodney, what you seen on the roads? Well, first of all, for everybody out there, just she didn't mean don't drink beer.